I'm uh, today I'm going to uh, discuss an essay which was seen on the 12th September 2019 in India. The topic is demand for food is increasing worldwide. What is the cause of this? What measures can the international community take to make sure the supply of food is enough? So I suggest my students to go and read the question three, four times before starting to attempt. So here they are given us a fact that the demand of food is increasing in the whole world. The demand for food. So they have asked two things now. This is a fact that has been given. The first thing that has been asked is what is the cause of this? What is causing the increased demand of food? So I have to make a paragraph on why the demand of food is increasing. I can make even two paragraphs on this if I have more than more points. And the second thing that has been asked is what measures can the international community take to make sure the supply of food is enough? And what can be done by the international community to solve this problem? To solve the problem means to make sure that the supply of food is enough that there is enough food for everyone in the coming times and today. So here goes my introduction. Meeting the food needs of billions of people is going to be a big challenge in the years to come. In this essay, I'll discuss the reasons for this growing demand of food and also suggest some steps which can be taken at the global level to meet this requirement. So this is my two sentence intro. In the first sentence, I have given a general statement that meeting the food needs of billions of people of the huge population is going to be a big challenge in the years to come. And then I have given my thesis statement which is going to tell the examiner what I am going to put in this essay. So this statement says it clear enough that in this essay I will discuss the causes of this and suggest solutions. So here is the first body paragraph. There are many reasons for the rising demand of food. Now this is my topic sentence. Topic sentence is the first sentence of a paragraph and it should tell what the paragraph is going to hold. So in this paragraph because my topic sentence is there are many reasons for the rising demand of food. It's very clear that in this paragraph, I'm going to put the reasons why the demand is increasing. The most prominent reason is the unprecedented growth in global population. Unprecedented is which was never thought of before, like at a speed which was never thought of before. And so it's the unprecedented growth in global population. Global population has grown. Over the last century, the population has quadrupled. Means it has grown four times. It was less than 2 billion in 1915, whereas today it is 7 billion plus and is expected to rise even further. The second major cause is the rising income of people in developing countries which causes dietary changes such as eating more protein and meat. So first reason is the that the population has grown a lot. It has quadrupled. It has grown four times in the last century. Then I have given the approximate figures of 1915 and uh, the approximate figures of today and I have written that this is expected to rise even further. And second reason is the rising income of people in developing countries because of which there is a change in their dietary habits and they are eating more protein and meat. So this is only one paragraph on the causes. So in this essay, I'll be putting two paragraphs on the solutions. To address this global food shortage, businesses and governments will have to work together. Now this can be done. So this is the first line which I have written that to address this shortage. So this is clearly saying that now I have come to the solutions. 
there is no need of writing on the other hand or moreover or further moreover here because it would be wrong on the other hand we write when we have to give some opposite view and uh, furthermore and moreover is when we have to continue what we have given in the first paragraph so just start your sentence like this and it is good enough to tell the examiner that now it is the solutions paragraph to address this global food short shortage businesses and governments will have to work together firstly farmers will have to be given assistance to produce more food on the land they currently operate through intensive farming so first thing that the international community can do is, is that the farmers have to be given assistance they have to be given help to produce more food on the already available land that they have the dairy demands of the consumers can also be met with gm technology for example in india millions of animals are needed to meet the consumer dairy demand whereas in america fewer animals produce more milk because of the latest technology so here i have written given you know uh, in this paragraph two points first point is that farmers should be given assistance to produce more crop more yield in the already existing land that they have through intensive farming and the second is uh, the dairy demands of the consumers can also be met so here also word is my uh, discourse marker or transition signal this is saying that this is another step the dairy demands can also be met through uh, technology like the gm technology and i've given the example that in india too many cattle produce less milk whereas in america because of this technology fewer animals produce more milk so this is what we need more yield on lesser land less land and more milk from fewer animals this is these are the two points i've taken up in the first para first body uh, the second body paragraph of the solutions of this essay and the first body paragraph of the solutions another step which can go a long way is to reduce food waste now this is another thing which i have come up in this another solution that we should reduce the food waste that has to be done this can be done by information campaigns to make people aware of the magnitude of food waste and the ways in which their food preparation and consumption habits can be changed so here this paragraph is leading to this point that we have to reduce that the food waste that is being done has to be reduced and this can be done through information com campaigns telling the people how much food is being wasted uh, because you know food the if food waste is reduced then the uh, lesser a uh, much less effort will have to be done to meet the growing uh, uh, needs of the food of the increasing population finally new technologies could be used to minimize food waste from storage and transportation now this is also uh, dealing with the food waste pro problem but uh, in this i have written that whatever food is stored and transported that much of it goes waste because it 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 spoils so technologies could be used to minimize food waste from storage and transportation it has been estimated that if food waste could be cut to half over the next 40 years the agricultural production would need to be increased by only 45% instead of 70% this would be a much easier food production goal to achieve so this has said that we have to reduce the food waste because if food waste could be cut to half then the food production agricultural production would need to be increased by only 45 percent instead of 70 percent now 50 percent is a much difficult much more difficult target to achieve but to increase the food production by 45 percent would be much easier so this is the point that i have laid in this paragraph to sum up there are many reasons of the increase in the demand of food all over the world. 
but many steps can be taken to meet the food needs of the world's population. So in the uh, concluding paragraph, I have not written anything new. I have just written what I have written uh, in the introduction in slightly different words that there are many reasons for the increase in the demand of food all over but many steps can be taken to meet the food needs of the world's population. So the IELTS essay in brief is that in the introduction uh, we have to tell the examiners what we have to tell them and then we have to tell it to them in the body paragraphs and in the conclusion we should tell them what we have already told them, nothing new. So this is my essay, I hope you've liked it. Thank you very much for watching, patiently.